So for the pockets, you can do it different ways. How about we just take some little squares or rectangles actually. So I'll just do this with the scissors and then I'll cut one across. So for this, I'm just measuring it um, about two and a half inches. But as you can see, I was just kind of eyeing it, so it doesn't really matter. It could be a little less, a little more. Some of this will probably be covered up also. See, that's actually a little longer than I need. So why don't I just cut it down? So I'll put that there. And then take the other one, a little water. I think we'll do little stars for the buttons, but I think I'll do that later. All right, stitching. I'll go right across here. And then what we can do is come down here, across, and then back up. Okay, across the top here, come down, across, and you're not even gonna see that, so we don't have to worry about it. Then make sure this is on. Uh, make sure your hands are where you want them to be. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna have him holding a flag over here. He's gonna have a, a little cupcake over on the other hand. But this is when you wanna get those hands in position because the next step is the jacket. And once we kind of get that on, we don't wanna move the arms around. So make sure they're in there real tight also. Okay, I'm gonna do the jacket in two pieces. So I need it to be, this is how I'll measure. I need to come out to at least here. So if I just take the ruler and just kind of roll it this way, I need it to be probably nine inches wide. So we've got 10 here. So let's just keep it at 10 or a little, even a little more. I've just got it almost at 12. It's better to be safe than sorry, right? Then we need it to be about eight and a half inches long. So eight and a half inches long. I'm even gonna leave it a little longer because I would rather trim it than not have enough. Okay, next step. How do we get it around the arms here? Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is make a little slit so that I can actually pull this up. Now to know where that goes, I actually just go like this and it's actually gonna be right about here. Okay, so it's more towards the front than the back because it's a lot more, see how much more, more space there is to cover here? than in the front, okay? So we'll take a little bit. You can either do water, or I think I'm just gonna do shortening because that'll kinda stick a little bit better here. I'll put a little on the pipe here. And then we've got the buttercream there. Okay, ready? I hope so. All right, so we're just gonna take it and what we need to do is just get it up here first, okay? Get it up there. Here we go and just kind of push that on and then we can go back and fix it. Okay, so here, like I have my thumb mark right in there. Let's see if I can get that out. I'll trim around the sleeves and then just make sure we get it up here. All right, so this is too much here and then this doesn't need to be at this angle here. We're not gonna fold this back, we're gonna add a separate piece for the lapel. So cut that first, get some of the weight off, and then obviously I don't want this covering up all my cute little stuff underneath there. So I'll just go straight up here for now. And it really depends what kind of jacket you want to give them. A lot of times the, the, the Uncle Sam's have the, um, the ones with the tails. This one's just a regular jacket. And then I want to go from here and just kind of cut down a little bit here. So I was going really lightly, trying not to get into that red there too much, like so. 